Hi, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Expert here at Silka. Uh, my name is Travis. I'm the e-commerce manager here. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite products, the T-Ratchet Tie Torque Kit, uh, the second generation. So we launched this a few years ago on Kickstarter. Uh, many of you probably have one of the versions along the way. Uh, so we're going to cover why you need a torque wrench, how to use this one, how it's a little bit different from some of the other ones you might use, uh, and some of the differences that we've had uh, through the years. Alrighty, first of all, we should probably cover why you need a torque wrench. Uh, today's bikes, a lot of them are carbon. Uh, carbon is a really, really great material. Uh, it's really strong. But one thing it does not do very well is get clamped. Uh, it's really strong unidirectionally, so it, it, it's not going to... Um, it, it's strong in some places, not in others. Clamping is one of those that, that it is really not great at. So. Every component on your bike, or, or virtually every component on there, has a torque spec. Um, and what we want to do is make sure that we are at that torque spec. Some of the work that we've done uh, with partners like Ruckus Composites um, says that 70% of their damage that they see uh, comes from on-the-road repair. So maybe your seat post slipped, or your bars slipped away or out on a ride, or you decided that you just needed to change the seat post height a little bit while you're out on the ride. Uh, I know we've all been there, I've done it, um, and you, you go and you over-tighten that bolt just a little bit, um, and you crush the, the uh, seat post. Um, or I think the, the probably even more common and under-talked about is the under-tightening of bolts. So if you're going to go and maybe you're, you're really nervous about over-tightening that stem bolt, uh, so you don't tighten it enough. And then you get a slip, that can cause a wreck, um, and, and you know, when you're slipping, you can break things that way as well. So uh, we really want to make sure that we're using a torque wrench to get things to the proper spec uh, so that you don't have any damage while you're out riding, um, keep you safe, keep your bike safe, um, and everything works a lot better that way. So um, now that we know why, we'll get into our torque wrench, why we like it so much. Um, comes in this awesome little package uh, that it's perfectly sized to go in a jersey pocket, a lot of saddlebags, anything like that. Um, so as we open it up, You'll be able to see that it folds out. You have 10 different bits uh, that comes all the way from a 2 millimeter up to a 6 millimeter Allen key, uh, T25, T20, and T10, uh, and a Phillips bit. So just about anything you might need on the, on the road or on the trail side, you're going to be able to repair with this kit. Alrighty, so one of the first pieces that I want to talk about with this tool uh, is just the T-Ratchet itself. So it's really nice because it's configurable. You can put it in just about any shape you need to get to any bolt. So uh, I think we've all put on bottle cages, get the uh, wrench caught in the wrong place, and it's really difficult to put on. The nice piece here, you can configure this wrench any way you want to get in there and make it really easy. So um, we have a magnetic bit extender here that is a standard quarter inch drive, like all the bits. Um, so it can plug in here and you can use it this way. So um, just as a regular ratchet, this side is removable. So you can turn it into, um, get a little bit more leverage, uh, or even my favorite, kind of turn it into a screwdriver, be able to use it um, in a really straight angle. So um, this bit extender is great to loosen bits. Never want to use a torque wrench to loosen a bit. So um, we get people riding into us all the time that have damaged their wrench, unfortunately, uh, because they are loosening it. This is a one, the torque wrench itself is a one-way tool. Um, it's a really, really precise measurement, um, and it is only designed to measure torque in one direction. So um, if you're loosening a bolt, you want to make sure you use this bit extender, uh, and then when you are ready to tighten again, then that's when we add the torque wrench. So just going to plug that in there, uh, and then we'll go through how to use the torque wrench. Alrighty, so the version 2 torque wrench that we have right now, uh, one of the big changes that we have made is this bottom of the barrel is a little bit wider. Uh, the original Kickstarter version was uh, the same diameter all the way down and had one scale on the torque wrench. So 0 to 8 newton meters all in one uh, range made it a little bit difficult to read. So what we did, we made that a little bit wider, the text is bigger, the lines are a little further apart, and we divided it up into three scales. So now you have one that's 0, 4, 8, 0, 2, 6, and 0, 3, and 5. So 
anything up to eight newton meters that you need on your bike which will cover everything except maybe that crank um, anything you're going to be adjusting on the go you're going to be covered with this tool so it is a live beam style um, torque wrench so you might be familiar with a clicker style where you tighten it uh, you set it to a certain torque setting tighten it and it clicks uh, this is actually going to move as you tighten the bolt so uh, we get some questions about that from time to time uh, we'll go ahead and show you a demonstration but we, uh, we just wanted to let you know that it's a live beam um, style torque wrench all right so this bolt is going to require a five newton meter setting so um, we're going to pick this scale here and into the bolt and then as you can see as we tighten it that arrow will move and you're going to get it right up until it hits five newton meters and then we'll let it go and we are all set Alrighty, now that we have our stem bolts tight and we're ready to go out on our next ride, um, we want to go over a couple other uh, points on this wrench. So, uh, like we talked about before, it's a highly precise tool. It's only meant to be used in one direction. So if you're going to loosen a bolt, we want to use that bit extender. Uh, and if it does have a maximum uh, torque of 8 newton meters. So um, sometimes we'll see people where there's been some drift on their tool. Um, where it's starting at three newton meters and that definitely tells us that it has been used over eight newton meters um, and sometimes we'll see it where it's less than zero um, and that tells us that they've been using it to loosen bolts so uh, we've seen it plenty of times and uh, accidentally done it a time or two ourselves so um, please use the bit extender if you're loosening a bolt don't go over eight newton meters and you really shouldn't have any problem thanks for joining us for another episode of ask the expert here at silka uh, again, I'm Travis. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, send us an email, uh, and we'd be happy to get back with you.